Listen, so recently we did get the dev notes, right? Again, dev notes recently have been pretty, pretty, pretty slow, okay? Recently it's just been Final Boss Archangel stuff and the simultaneous clear. Those are the two things that have been carrying the dev notes for, for basically ever now. Like, go back three dev notes. Those are the only things being mentioned. Again, you know, the, uh, the gift of the century, the 100 gems, that's outstanding. Don't get me wrong. Amazing gift. But recently, some of the content updates, the quality of life updates, and some of the stuff that's just been missing, I wanted to talk about that here today. And maybe, you know, at some point, we finally see some of the stuff added in or just updated because things were just left to die. And it's been a while since any of this got updated. Let me show it to you here today. Let's talk about it. Let me know if any of this you actually want to see added back into the game, updated into the game, or anything of the sort. Let's talk about it. The first thing, right? The first thing on my list is the fact that it's been almost, what, the game has been out for, what, three almost plus years, and they haven't, since the launch of the game, updated summoning animations, okay? Till today, there has not been an additional summoning animation past the first three months of the game. Nothing, okay? We have Lost Vein, an Escanor save, a full counter, full demon. Full counter is like it's kind of the same thing, but it's not because it's like Lost Vein's different, whatever. That's it. That's really it. Again, there's like a few smaller ones in there when it's like an eye flash of this. We have like five debatable different animations for summoning. That's literally it, right? Again, let's just, I have one ticket. I'll just use it. Why the hell not? But we have, that's it. That's, that's all we had. And we haven't had anything like beyond that. They could do so much. Like for a festival character, it could be like that character. That's how you know you pull that character. If they return the, uh, whatever, like, you know, the energy ball that got shot at them. I don't even know, bro. Like, look at this. We have a full counter here. Is this full demon? This is nothing, right? This is just regular basic animation. It's it, right? We have an Escort save. Like, they could have done so much. I got Fat King. That's crazy. Damn. But they could have done so much with, like, you know, King doing something. Like, you know, Festival King showing up. They have Bond. They have so many characters to, like, return and just save Melly there. Again, it's been so long since we actually have seen anything like that. Remember, Global, the Lost Fan animation, that arrived at Global one year later. So keep that in mind, that that arrived way later than it was supposed to. So Global technically got an additional animation, even though JP had it. But it felt like, for a while, like, oh, it's an extra animation, I guess. But in the end, it's been so long, we haven't gotten additional animations. If anything, you have so many Fez characters when you have a festival. Just use that character for an animation. Again, that's maybe a lot of work. So just make two extra animations and then we're going to be happy for another two years and then go and, you know, add another one two years later. I don't know. We, we need something. It's getting dry out here summoning. I really don't have to say this, but, you know, can we, can we get another update to Coin Shop? Like there's been so many promised Coin Shop updates, but the value of Coin Shop has literally just been uh, kind of killed. I don't know. It used to be so different how much we actually cared for Coin Shop. Now we basically don't. And again, they also removed like the ability to buy, I think SSR coins with gold coins. There used to be like an SSR Jerry coin here and stuff like that. I don't even know what happened. In, in the end, coin shop just got shafted miserably. We still have festival coin shop. Even this area is just so dead. Like coin shop is not the same as it used to be. I don't know, bro. It, it's bad, okay? Like, like they always promised the coin shop update. We never actually got one. Like that expanded coin shop. We got stuff that was removed. That happened, but we never really got like an expansion on it. It just, it, it's kind of stayed dead. And their solution to that was basically opening up dungeons that require these coins. And to get into them, you use them, so you spend them. So they didn't have to update coin shop. In the end, they just left it to die. What the hell? Also, this really isn't a solid point, but over here, right, you have some characters in the game that just kind of like after a while, they've obviously gotten outdated. First off on CC, first off also on um, when it comes to like actual just stats itself. I don't know, later on they could definitely relook at that. Again, there's Dokkan, they, they've done something like that. I think you know what they've done there, where they boosted old units, right? So it's in the end, some of them actually can have some play later in the future. Um, they don't just like remain dead. Yes, we do have Holy Relics, but some characters just have such absurd stats. You can't use them anywhere really, right? So some characters exi like, exist like that, some don't, but it really depends. But you know, please, can we, can we get like updated stats on some of these characters? For example, like, you know, running this Lilia, her passive's damn good. She's still a damn good unit, but again, her stats are kind of low. She's super squishy. So in any kind of meta, she just gets folded like an omelet. It just happens. Again, they also kind of got rid of Labyrinth. Um, they haven't really told us when Labyrinth is coming back and I really want it back. So bringing back Labyrinth, I enjoyed it as much as it was too much RNG. Hey, it was fun, like spending so much time trying to grind that out. If they fix it up, that'll be such a fun thing to bring back. I liked it, even though people really hated it. I don't know, it was enjoyable for me to like think of an entire comp and it worked, okay? I helped so many people get a, a get out of that, you're welcome. But I enjoyed every second of Labyrinth. 
until, again, the RNG kicked in, the restarts, but I don't know, it was enjoyable. Also, I went searching for this, but you know, this is this is separate, okay? Attack on Titan is a great thing, but with Attack on Titan, this is when I even started the game, and I, like, this one piece of content, it doesn't matter how many times they return one of them. I think it's like, it's is it Perrin Poo? Is it that? I don't know, it's a, it's a giant one, it's another similar to like this. It's the Conquest system. Literally, these things were so good. It's like, you get, you get four players, if you ever played this, they're super fun. It's like, you get four, you know, players, you jump into this match, and it's just like, it's a race to do the highest DPS, basically. Um, you win if you just get the highest DPS, you get the most rewards from it, most materials, whatever. This is my favorite freaking mode in the game, and they never run these, bro. We've had one, which, again, I don't know if it's, I don't know, is it Perrin Poop, bro? What is the name? Yeah, it is, dude, look at my memory, bro. That's, that's insane, it is Perrin Poop, but yeah. These are the two conquests that currently exist in the game, and they haven't made a new one since. It, it's been so freaking long. Like, you could do a conquest with the new character just got, Bell Mael, whatever, that thing in the sky, that freaking horrifying thing. Uh, that would be so sick to have a conquest with it, right? Then there's also the recent one with the Demon King. They could have easily made a, like, a Demon King conquest just off of that. Like, you have the boss battle. Again, I might be the only one that likes this stuff, but like, it was so sick to verse the Titan, uh, the Colossal Titan, just like that. I don't know, I've never in my life enjoyed such an event. I literally, like there was a limit I think back then, and I grinded it to each day's limit. You have to have like a, a entry ticket or something, right? And I used up all of them. I enjoyed the event so much. I might be tripping here, I probably am. Conquests were so fun. And th this one, Attack on Titan, I loved it. So, bring back Conquests, please, that Marvel, please do it. And again, think about it, all right? Just, just look at this, all right? Hawk is there, this exists. Like, you have to take care of this boss. Is, is this really fun for you? No, Conquest is where it's at, okay? I don't care what you say. We've been forming the same Hawk boss, I swear, every month um, when it comes to a festival, so... Yeah, I don't know. The, these, are not my, these are not my cup of tea. Hell no. Also, while I'm complaining, hey, yo, Netmarmo, can you please bring back the Hawk Pass costumes? I, I missed, like, two of them on Global, and it's been eating away at me ever since. So, in the future, like, can we do, like, a rerun event? You could charge double, I don't care. Don't charge double, please don't. I, I don't have enough, but please charge the same price. Bring me back these costumes. I lost some of them. Um, they, I think, which one did I lose? I lost like such a good one because I didn't have the character. I don't know, was it Fez Merlin's? Somebody I lost on Global and I lost like tw two times in a row. I was depressed. I'm gonna lose Monoker like, you know, like very soon because she's not there. She existed on the worst banner ever. I can't summon for that. I'm gonna miss that. I have Freyr, so that's fine. I, I probably get that. I have this, maybe I'll get that. But I missed out on this one, bro. The penguin onesie. Can we please bring back, you know, these costumes at some point? Please. It's never going to happen. But, yo, if you ever want to buff rates, yo, I'm all for it at Marvel. Like, you can go and do it. You know, these these .25s, these, you know, 4%s, they're not cutting it. But, you know, hey, you do you, you do you. At this point, I'm speedrunning it, so I'll just do this last one. Um, I know people say that, you know, it's good to have single unit banners. Can we get back to at least doing a free unit here and there? Like, for example, this festival was supposed to have a free unit because that's how they've done it for the last two download festivals, three almost. Um, we didn't get one. So we also didn't get a free banner, by the way. But can, can we get back to like releasing two unit banners sometimes here and there, just here and there, not not too much. Like for example, you had Chandler and you had Grey Road. I don't think anybody would have complained, okay? If you lost both of them, they'll be on the uh, ticket banner at some point. That's fine. Like over here, instead of getting Freyr only, we could have got Freyr and Ragnarok King. The extra unit doesn't kill you. It's a unit that you can pull later on tickets. And like, you know, some banners have been just like kind of stale. And you know, single units, banners just, you know, there's less hype. I don't know, it's just me probably. But like, the last double unit banner we've gotten was ages ago, bro. Eight, look at this, look at this, ages. January 27th is the last time we actually got a banner with two units, Scotty and a latte. Okay, do not count this, I will slap you. We do not count collabs out here. Collabs have to be two units. If they start doing a single unit collab, I'm on stalling. But look at it, nothing else basically was um, a double unit thing since January 27th. So in a few months, there'll be one year of missing double unit banners. That's shocking. But yeah, there's so many things that I'm missing. Like, you know, give us back. Every week we get one uh, time dungeon key and the one key for the training ground. They gave up on that. Over here, the fat guy in the back, Get rid of the freaking, uh, like, fix the shop. Not get rid of it, but fix the shop at uh, Bicycle Fight Festival. Still not worth it. It's, like, again, very, you know, they, they updated the price. Still pretty much sucks. Um, the rest of it, give better festival content. Recently, the festivals have been just super lackluster. Again, collabs, I love those stories, so I'll always be biased towards them. I'm fine with that. Ragnarok, I enjoy that, too, so I'm biased there. But festivals have been just sucking recently, okay? They generally do. No content. The chapter is great. I enjoy that. But, this, like, 
kind of coinciding content just sucks. Other than that, hey, I thank you for listening to me complain for I don't know how many minutes. I'll cut this down very short, hopefully. But hey, let me know if you agree with anything or if I was just uh, laughing or was it yelling at the wall? Is that the phrase? Thank you. Enjoy. Peace out. Have a fabulous day. And I'll see you tonight with patch notes. Hopefully something good drops.